Hi, my name is James Shepard, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a boarding API to get your clients or merchants signed up for a merchant account automatically in your software. So we're in the middle of a mini series. This is a bit more of a complicated topic. So you gotta dig in and be ready for this one. For many of you out there, you own a software company or you're a developer for a software company and you understand how to do the payment processing integration. You get that. You understand how to run a payment from your software, but you've been handing off the actual merchant onboarding. In other words, when one of your clients reaches out and says, I wanna be able to process payments, you say, great, I'll connect you with our processing company let them handle signing you up. What you don't realize, of course, is that's creating a very nasty experience for your merchant who has to go through a big sign-up process, probably fill out a big DocuSign agreement. They have to wait three or four days to see if they got approved. Then your processing company has to send you a VAR sheet or some kind of a you know data dump of like how to integrate it into the gateway. And it's kind of this whole thing. And that's really kind of legacy. What I wanna show you in this video is how you can make a very easy, seamless, single page app, right? Where when your clients want to accept payments, they click a button, they fill out an online application, they are instantaneously or nearly instantaneously approved for a merchant account, and then everything just works. You are able to build out the full integration to just activate the account and get it ready to go. So if you're like most software companies, you likely already have a pretty good size customer base that is using your software and or you allow people to sign up for the software for free and you've removed the friction of signing up for payment processing in order to use the software. If you haven't done that, you might wanna consider it because obviously signing up for the merchant account is a pretty big deal. So what if that's the case for you, how do we then get people to actually start using the payment processing so we can make money off of those payments. Let's take a look at my own company, CC Storage. This is the dashboard and you're looking at a particular client and what they would see when they log in. Now this client is not currently using payment processing. As you can see based on the numbers here, they literally just signed up for an account and they have virtually no information in here whatsoever. So when that is the case, we created something right here at the top that says, your account cannot accept card payments until you complete the merchant services application and they can click start application. We give them a little bit of information here about what's required, why it's required, and it's gonna take them to this um, online application. Very simple application. Now, once they finish uh, this particular application, what's gonna happen is that is gonna send all the information securely, just like you would send the payment information securely. They're gonna do a little bit of data work on their side, like within a couple of seconds usually, to make sure the person that's applying does look like they own a self-storage property. It seems like it fits the criteria for our software. And if so, they instantly approve the account. And when they approve the account, that sends the API, sends it back to us and says, this account has been approved which allows us to then trigger everything that needs to happen in order to activate the payment processing so that it just works. So think about that solution and how seamless and easy that is versus maybe what you're doing now, right? You want people to be able to sign up. Here's a different merchant account. And when they log in, you can see that they already have loaded some units in and some customers. They even have some past due invoices and things like that. But you can see right here that they actually started the application, but they didn't finish it. So we can change our text at the top of the screen to say, your merchant services application is 16% complete, continue the application, right? So what do they do? Well, they click the button and they continue going through it. And we have a very high success rate of merchants who log in here and say, hey, I really wanna be able to accept payments. Every time they log in, they see this blue button at the top and they click it, they continue until they complete the merchant application. Then we notify them, you're approved, you can accept payments. Now they can go in and now they can invite their customers to log into the portal, add their payment method and run their payments as we talked about in the previous video.